Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Bows and Company. I am your host, Emily O, and I am joined by the company for this week and mom, our dear, basically our co-host for a long time. We've missed you. I have missed dearly. it as well. Dearly, dearly have missed, missed you. I've missed it, and I've never been on camera. You have not been on camera before. The one time we tried to do it, um, and it, it fell. It failed. But, you know, we are here again. Happy summer. You're looking ravishing in this bright Gosh. print of a blouse. It's just so lovely to see you in color. Oh my God. Um, Thanks. <laughs> so we have a great show for you today. I feel like we have a lot to discuss. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy that you're back because we needed to bring you in to go over so many different topics that have been going I'm on. I'm sure we'll just keep talking about As we always do. Um, but we're going to start off with some bows and lows. Okay. We had another busy weekend um, socially and, mm. you know, I just, I, it's time to share. So why don't you okay. go ahead and touch upon your bow so and your we low. So as we were kind of setting up things, I was thinking about it. And I would say that my bow, which often happens to me, is my bow turned into, my low turned into a bow. Yes, I love low, when this Yes, low to a bow. I have boxwood. We have boxwood window boxes, and it's kind of a love-hate relationship with it. And so true. I would say that over the years, I love them, <laughs> and then I hate them, yeah. <laughs> and I overall am happy that I have them, but oftentimes when you back out of the driveway, you look up and you see, oh, geez, I need to water it, I need to do more, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so... That's one issue, the window boxes. Then on our front steps, I have two boxwood plants, and mm -hmm. they're kind of fuller. They're round. Yes. One died, and this is another problem. So if you like symmetry like I do, you have two. They're the same size. Yes. One dies. It's so gone. Uh, it happened overnight. I'm yeah. backing. I'm sure it didn't, but a, a little brown piece, I'm backing out of the driveway, and it's completely dead. Yeah. And I just don't have an Emmy, Emily. I, how am I going to go find two that are similar? I could call the landscape. The Boxwood Saga is an age-old tale that has been going on since it's, we were little. They're just dying and then buying new ones for the summer. They just, why can't they stay alive? I, <laughs> Stick with us. It, I think it's user error. I mean, I water. I Perhaps. Water, but, but I mean. Uh, and they're in a, they probably should be in, they probably need more space than in the little Perhaps, box. yes, perhaps. And I did, I did use faux boxwood upstairs, which I think you've shown before. Uh, yes, we discussed that. And it is life-changing. Life so that is actually low. I, I did faux ones in the middle of each window box. So we have three. Okay, so the other day, there's a lot going on. I'm backing out of the driveway. I gasp because one is completely brown. Do I haul the pots away? What do I do? I'm driving away thinking about it. And then I recall, <laughs> and everyone in the family was like, okay, mom, seriously, I ordered, I saw it on the gram. Yep. Some, probably because my phone's listening to me, and oh, I get a lot sure. of boxwood yes. stuff that pops yes. up. Yes, so niche. <laughs> yes, and it's a spray, and it just looks like a can of spray paint. Yep. But apparently it's meant for flowers. It's probably just green spray paint. I'm sure. Know. Yeah. Came back from a walk. The next day after I saw that it was brown, I got the can out. I shook it. Mm -hmm. I took a piece of cardboard yep. and I kind of put it behind because the last thing I wanted to do was paint our white door frame. Well, right. Then we're running into a separate issue. Green. Yes. Held it behind. I, I'm i embarrassed to admit it, but I am so happy. I sprayed the dead boxwood. Yep. Green. I got a little bit on the black planter. I just hauled the the planter around yep and the green is in the back love it and there's i couldn't get all of it so there's like just a teeny bit of brown what actually makes it look natural wow what a full circle story so I mean, no one could have seen this story coming anywhere the landscaping hack of the century no but i love how yes. we because honestly the box would have such a, a hard time in the summer they we really and try i to keep just them love alive. them and overall it's great it's the potted boxwood potted problem potted box. now i did also notice and then i'll stop talking about boxwood but as i backed out of the driveway we have a little hedge that's really cute one section a teeny maybe four by four section of the boxwood is brown i'm gonna get the spray out <laughs> You're going to come by our house and our whole grass is going to be spray. <laughs> <laughs> like, what happened to their front yard? Mom just, like, went to town. You have, like, a power washer There's full graffiti, of this stuff. Graffiti yeah. on the door. She's like, I just love it. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's just, like, a little too green. It's too green. That's and so was funny. Like, Mom, I said nobody would notice no. this as they're driving No, by. I really think it's a great idea. But I am watering 
religiously not. I think it's of just course. because it got super hot and whatever. I I wasn't thinking about it. No. And no. I think about it when I back out and right. then when I pull in and by the time I get back into the house. There's something else that's gotten your attention. I have forgotten to yes. water. Yes. Now, there are some dead ones. One's looking a little brown. I don't think I'm going to hang out the window with the cardboard and <laughs> <laughs> waving to the neighbors. Hello, yeah. our painting. Gardening. <laughs> Gardening. <laughs> gardening <laughs> tending to my leaves yes. that's so funny well I'm really I when you shared this earlier with me I was like oh my gosh everyone's gonna love this and I'll yes. definitely post the um spray paint well on my Bose and Company spray Instagram paint. and then even my neighbor who's so sweet when I put the faux boxwood I yes mean, I can't believe I did this but they look real oh the spray paint is also recommended for faux if it fades in the sun or oh something, okay you can spray it yeah but I'm telling you it looks it's real. great for walls. No, <laughs> it real. Mm-hmm. But the boxwood in the window boxes, the middle ones are faux, and the two on the ends are alive. Uh huh. But they're browning. Yeah. But my neighbor, I think she put faux on either side. Oh, I see. Some sort of a plant, but I feel like it maybe looks too fake. I'm Perhaps. not really sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't blame her. She's got four kids. We can't be hanging out. The whole they, neighborhood's just going to be having <laughs> right. And, so. and I will back up. We've had them for over twenty years, and at the time, I did not get the kind that you can tube or drain. It, they're self watering. Oh, I so see. So you could fill them up. And okay. Then I have tried over the years numerous things, like the little things that you fill up with water and you leave it in there. Well, so oh, I, I remember that. I want to know that I have tried all of these things. Yes. And really, they flourish when you water them yourself. But I also have seen people, I think, use a plumber and they like tube it somehow. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. You know what my favorite thing is? Is the fall when you just put pumpkins. I love it. Or or die. even in the winter, just greens. Yeah. I have a nest in my... Um, you know what? We can't bring the window box up there because there's a no, family No, there's a right family there. living. She is nesting. And it's I so cute. hear little chirp chirps. Yeah, no, it is actually cute. really sweet. And I just mm-hmm. like look out and see the kids. That's where one of the dead boxwood is. Oh, well, we're not. She's not moving then no, because we can't touch it. We can't touch it. Yeah. Um, okay, well, love okay. the bows and lows. What a yeah. sweet story. I would say okay. for me, my low, mm-hmm. my feet hurt. We've had a big weekend oh. full of um, heel wearing and whatnot. So blisters, aching. Other than that, mm-hmm. everything. Everything else is pretty swell. Did you put um, your UFOs on? Oh, the UFOs have been working overtime this weekend, most Mine definitely. Were right, right, yes. On the side of my bed. I do my that every morning. Went right into them. So, fun fact about me if I step out of the bed the wrong way, um, it can ruin my feet for the whole day. So, I immediately. I uh, no, I idea. know. I know. It really changes the whole trajectory. I have very sensitive feet. Um, other than that, that's pretty much my only low. No, well, we. Well, we could talk about the wedding, but we did dance Friday night. Right, and then the bow, I was going to transition into the wedding on Friday night, which was so fun, and then our event last evening, which we'll touch upon. So Friday, we had a wedding for my, it's a good family friend, but started with my best friend from high school, Megan, and it's her sister, her older sister, Caitlin, got married. And she's Claire's age. And she's Claire's age, and their friends were all family friends. So that took place, and love we love a Friday wedding. I mean, we had a Friday wedding. Loved it. It was very festive. It was a beautiful church ceremony, followed immediately by the reception downtown um, at a cool hotel. So we had a really, really fun time. It's just beautiful. I love going to weddings. I'm on the wedding circuit. I've been to two (laughs) weddings, and this is like, you were funny, because we're at the second wedding and you look around and you're like so this is fun this is fun so this is kind of what happened I said it to Claire and Connor just because they've been going to so many weddings because it's like their stage in life I said so it was just kind of like you know mm-hmm. how would is this like normally what we do and they're like yes I mean we had our own wedding but it was um really fun to go to theirs yeah. and a summer wedding the boys were in blue suits the bridesmaids had beautiful like light pink mm-hmm. gowns so on pretty. it was really fun so um we danced the night away we were there <laughs> I was so not late. expecting to I dance wasn't that much expecting that either but we had a really great time I think we left at like 12 30 what um, shoes you had on gold. I actually had very comfortable shoes on because mm-hmm. if you followed me on YouTube or the reels on Instagram I was sharing the four dress options fun. yeah I, I love I doing appreciated that appreciated their help I appreciated their help and I legitimately needed help this time because they were all really great dresses. It was also cute because there are were some followers that are friends of yours. Right. Who were at the event and they were all, okay, yes, I picked number one. Yeah. So yeah. everyone felt invested. And then Elizabeth wore. She ended up wearing number three. One of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it looked so good on her. But I did switch the shoes because I was going for comfort because I figured we were going to be dancing a lot. So I wore a, a fabulous gold shoe from Antonio Milani that I wore mm-hmm. to the Dallas event. And they're so comfortable. 
uncomfortable. You I never took those. my shoes off. I mean, I was hobbling by the end of the night, but that's just because we were dancing. So they did have much. flip flops there. They did have flip flops. Which was a cute little touch. Uh, I don't think I can dance as well. In I like the flop. height. Yeah, I really do. I like mm-hmm. to be just a little bit more elevated. And I wore mine were high. They were a they Sarah, were high they for were you. High. There was a Sarah Flint gold. Yes. And I, Elizabeth has worn them because we're the same size. I had never worn them before. No, yeah. I did wear them. I take that. I, I have worn them one other time. And I I was walking into the church and I, I like to walk quickly. And Absolutely. all of a sudden, you know, when you're used to walking yes. really fast and I had to put the brakes on and. Well, you lasted so like all used night. To it. I, I did. I lasted yes. all night. Other than like walking in the church and then getting up to the event, there wasn't a lot of like distance no, walking. No, and they were open toe, which I've said before was great. Yes. So, so many weddings this weekend, just like in life, I feel like. And also downtown, there was two weddings at the hotel that we were mm-hmm. at. This weekend, I feel like I've just been seeing a lot of marriages. I mean, June and July are, are, are wedding season. Thank you, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> um, they are wedding season. Yes, they are. It's fun, though. I like it. Oh, and they it had a great you, night for it. It gives you something to do. And then it was really cute. This family... On Saturday, then we didn't go because we had something else to do, and but it was mostly for their family. They were going to the Guardians game. Yes, so I thought that was really a great idea. Definitely. So I ended mm-hmm. up wearing the Eliza J dress, which was perfect from, and the colors of the it was pink and white basically were the colors. So we dressed, you know, on theme. You were totally on theme. And then on Saturday, we, which was last night, we've mm-hmm. been really getting in the habit of like recording on Sundays. It's always just a quick turnaround. It's very up to the minute, but it, it is. I haven't recorded on a Sunday in a while, but I kind of like it. Yeah, because then you get it's the fresh. Full, it is fresh. fresh. Yes, yes. Um, so last night, Claire, well, why did you take it away? Okay, wait, was there anything else from the wedding that we needed to talk about? I was just trying to think. It was just beautifully done. It was just beautifully done. And it was fun for us all to be there. Yes, it was fun for us all and to we, be there. We sat with some other nice people at our table. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I think we I think we yeah. covered it. Well, I mean, it was overall just a wonderful evening celebrating Caitlin and Sam and, and you know, mm-hmm. love. And- <laughs> Most importantly, love. most importantly, love. Yes. yes. Okay. So we did take care of that, and then it does throw you off because the Friday night having something fun like that. But we love doing it on a Friday night oh, because my you favorite. still have the whole weekend, and mm-hmm. especially for those who travel. I mean, it might be a little tricky because it's like getting there. We ran into the same problem like early on a Friday, but mm-hmm. honestly, yeah. a summer Friday is almost easier because I feel like people might have like half days oh, or right. Yeah. So but I'm happy for them, and they me too. They did a beautiful job, and I was. So happy to be there celebrating with them. Couldn't have said it better myself. Exactly. Okay, then yesterday, I I just took it easy all day. I know. You haven't, like, laid I on the couch done that in, in forever. forever. My mother would be so happy because yes. Grammy is very much rest. Yeah. Take, take, a, your take bed, a moment. Take it to down. your bed. Yeah. And I read. I laid on the couch and I read. I love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had a really calm day and um I don't know I think the only thing I I was working and stuff but Elizabeth and I just like went and got coffee well then we had another event right away pretty much we did early on that we had to get there early and get ready for so that started at five ish Mm -hmm. so we go ahead so Claire (laughs) she did it last year and she's the co-chair for the American Cancer Association yes Young professional. Young professional. Organization. Organization. <laughs> yes. And last year, so a good friend of hers that she used to work at KPMG with. In consulting. In consulting. They, I like how we're, it's, we're finishing each other's words. We do that a lot. We do. So the two of them, I think he pulled her into it a yep. couple of years ago. Yep. And last year, I don't remember where it was. We didn't attend. It was just an outdoor event. And they, they raised $3,500. Bigger American Cancer Association in Cleveland gave them more money. So they were able to step up the event. And I'm really proud of Claire. So proud. I'm always proud of Claire. But I was really excited for her last night and proud of her because her and her co-chair organized this event. It was at the House of Blues. They had a great turnout. I think 130 people or so. It was a lot of people. And the space was awesome for it. They did. She's a good committee. Mm -hmm. Very good at leading. Very good leadership qualities. Yes. And she had they had silent auction. They had a wine pull. They had a really cute thing. I actually thought it was a photo backdrop. It it wasn't. It could have been, though. It was so cute. The records. Yes. It was a big black frame. And then Connor and another guy, I think the co-chair. Yeah. 
they took string and Claire had gotten a whole bit basket or box of real records off of yep. Facebook market. Yep. And I think for nothing. And the co-chair drilled holes and they tied them together with string. Mm-hmm. And it was so cool. It They just hung from this thing. And you could, for $10 buy a sticker which went on the label of the record yep very creative very I, I think that was claire's idea and it was in memory or in honor of someone who has had cancer or who passed away so that was great there were it was like great stations as you walked around great they food had great food really the, good food i really i told her that i was like Claire, gosh, the food was great because she was it. she picked it all out and she did a great job there was they like appetiz- past appetizers sliders yes tacos i was really in the mood for all of it It all of it delicious and then they had um hope punch was the drink but that was really cute that was cute they had a cute signature drink and um claire got up and spoke with her Mm co-chair and they raised did they hit sixty thousand? just about hit just about hit yes they were like six thousand like forty four thousand dollars yes right when they stood up so they extended their goal yes this is a lot of math right now we're here for it extended their goal to sixty thousand and they got very close like 58 58 yeah but they they rate yes you're right they raised it that night and they went from last year which was thirty five hundred dollars to raising fifty eight thousand dollars so I was really impressed with these young professionals in Cleveland. Very impressed. Mm -hmm. Just put together members of society. And it was refreshing to see. There was the cocktail hour. Everyone was having fun. The drinks going to the different stations. And then, oh, she had a photo booth. That photo booth? Wait, actually, did she... She picked that out herself. Who Whoever that picked? person was, we should really I think like, for. Well, I'm not going to say the name because I'm not positive that's who it is. But, but it I, had a cool backdrop of Cleveland. Um, but I really liked that. It was a nice photo booth. It was very nice. I enjoyed that. Yes. Who doesn't like a photo booth? I don't want to meet them. Nope. <laughs> um, so but the flow. I, that's what I. Oh, and her table setting. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Her centerpieces were adorable. She had music. Yeah. Sheet music. She had sheet music, which I think she got from her mother-in-law at school. There was actually yes. old music books or something. And she kind of staggered them mm-hmm. as, a, as a little table runner. Yep. And then she just had very inexpensive, probably from the dollar store, glass vases. And she filled them with disco balls. I should say it was a music theme. Oh, yes. It was a music I theme. It was hosted at the House of Blues on East 4th in downtown Cleveland. So, yes, it was a music so theme. So, it's a whole music theme. And it was really... It, it, her centerpieces were darling. And then she had like twinkle lights in the vase with the sparkle disco balls. Mm-hmm. So it just kind of radiated out. I loved it. I loved it. And then when they spoke, they had everyone come and everyone were rule followers. They were. Yeah. I mean, it was uh, very good citizens that we had No, there. honestly, it was very, very good citizens yeah. is the best way to describe it. Philanthropic I was just, I was very, leaders of Cleveland. I was very proud of all of them. So proud. And they moved the speech along. The speeches yeah, went. but I enjoyed listening. They were engaging. It was funny. Claire, um, did. Claire is, I think, a good public speaker. Always has been a very I good mean, public I'm her speaker. Mom, so I do think that. But she did a great job. And she had a really cute red dress on. You know what? I should link the dress. It was a red dress from Shop Avara. And it was um, kind of like a fit and flare. Super cute. She wore a little heel. It was perfect for the event. Mm-hmm. And it looks great on her. Red is really her color oh my gosh she looked fantastic and really it would be good for elizabeth if she needs anything at miami yes if your college or school needs shop avara i wore a shop avara um jumpsuit last night and i think it's actually called avara i'm confused the website is shop avara yeah because when i go to link it on ltk i always have to type in shop avara so that's why i have it i don't know what avara means but i think the actual website my your blouse top. that if you're joining us on video it's from avara and the blouse that you wore in my last youtube video that blue that coastal blue one mm-hmm. is also avara and i just feel like for the price point it's like it looks a lot more expensive i agree we always get compliments on our avara and, pieces i mean my summer uniform yes it's just white pants and it's a blouse easy. such as i this. have a variety of white pants and a little blouse I love it. Yeah. Sandal. But Avara has really been pulling through for the three of us and the four of us, I should say, recently. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. um, definitely check it out. I had a white, 
Was it like a denim material? It was. It was like a, a white, white denim, denim jumpsuit. It was sleeveless, really cute, a wide leg. I had Walmart. Oh my gosh. Wedges on, which have been my new favorite shoe. They're aggressively comfortable, especially coming off of the <laughs> night before where I my feet were right. sore. And then I had my Kohl's purse. I mean, talk about bargaining. Your friend loved your outfit, Aubrey. Yes. And I think she was shocked that the shoes were from Walmart because they are really cute. And the and purse does not look like it's from Kohl's. And I had, had a on... lot of purse compliments. Well, it's a great purse. I mean, it's I a great purse. I kind of to use it last oh, night. Oh, I'm too. sorry. No, no, no. I, I ended up... <laughs> I wore a red blazer, a Veronica Beard short sleeve blazer, and I found a crossbody. I don't really crossbody much. It I liked it. liberating. Oh, yes. And it was the just a free. little one. A little one. It was one. your go yard. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it didn't match perfectly. I feel like we have a, a good amount of red in our wardrobes just because of like Miami and mm -hmm. stuff. Kind of. And I don't know. Um, but yeah, and I really. Elizabeth looked cute. Oh, she, she looked wore, so cute. She had an Avara dress on too. We right. were all in Avara. I wasn't last night. Well, yeah. I yes. mean, you were in Veronica Beard. But, but um, the three of you were. Yeah. And, not, and none of it looked the same. No, you couldn't tell that it was all from. I tend to buy a, a lot of my blouses look similar. Because there, it's a style, a look, but those perhaps, but they, yeah, yeah care, they but... don't. They're very flattering. I mean, you don't think like, oh, Godians wear that same <laughs> shirt again. What is she doing? Like, I don't ever think that at all. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, those were the outfits. I'll link everything. I think I'm going to post a picture in the white jumpsuit. So you probably already I saw it. I love the white jumpsuit and the um, be great for a bride too. If you have yes, um, a shower, bachelorette, like a brunch or something. And I just can't get over. How, I don't know the, the Walmart heels at first I was kind of a hater I was like these you were not kind of a hater I would pull them out it's like I would scoff because they just looked mm -hmm. I don't know and then once you kind of broke them in I am um, they're a little bit I wonder it's a little bit bigger size than you're that's used what it to. was but were you okay in the bigger yeah size? no I was great in it they're light as a cloud <laughs> light as a cloud we had to pause because if you're joining us on video um <laughs> the camera stopped working but mm -hmm. Yeah, anyway, the outfits were strong last night. The event was wonderful, and we're just so proud of Claire and her just ability to, to plan, organize, and raise money. <laughs> I mean, all of it. I was all sitting of it. right in the front front seat. Videotaped all of Connor it. Connor was right next he to me. He was the closest. He was like he an was inch so away from the stage, just like gazing at her. It was so sweet. And he helped set – I mean, he was there helping to set up. Yeah, they were setting up all day. And her co-chair – his wife is just lovely. I love Michelle. I, well, I love. Whoops, the doors. Hey, open. girl, we're recording. Oh, You're okay. fine. I just feel like talking about the fashion of the night. I know there was reason. like good outfits, but because it was summer casual at the House of Blues, so that's a little tricky for mm -hmm. me. Yeah, I, I don't know. I little it was yeah. a little tricky, but Michelle, she always looks really great she does she's and a good dresser i thought she had a jumpsuit on it was not a jumpsuit she got it at express and it was monochromatic and it was a beautiful plum color yep and it was skinny pants like a cigarette pant yes with a fitted tee tucked in and then she had kind of an oversized double breasted blazer on oh she looked she looked fabulous she looks chic and a sandal yeah mm -hmm. she's a doctor she's cool She's cool. She's, she's cool. She's, she's, I've always thought she's cool. And kind. Sometimes I tell her that. <laughs> I think, I think I might've told her that last you night. You probably, it, you have I an urge cool. too. I just gave her a big hug because I'm always happy to see her. Yes. And I'm like, you look beautiful. Yeah. Well, she's obviously beautiful, but to take it a step further, she's just like a cool girl. Cool. I'm like, I liked her interpretation yes. of summer casual. No, it was. Because you, you know, I love a blazer. Obviously. I had on shoes last night that were Veronica Beard. <gasps> yes. So, you know, it's difficult though, back to back choose two nights in a row but bringing in that um wedge aspect mm -hmm. i think really softened kind of some of the the actual physical pain of course and <laughs> then lasted the but entire I night i really like those shoes i will also link those you just purchased though they're like a brown i would almost say they're like a not a complete straight across platform there's a little bit of a dip down they're high as but well. they're high were they comfortable they were okay they weren't bad okay they're kind of a brown suede crisscross at the top I really like them so they, I wish they I was your size a little bit yeah there's always Elizabeth something. had worn them the weekend before for the first time I let her borrow them and she kind of broke them in a little bit good that's a good system pass them off to her pass them off to the young blood to mm -hmm. to 
to break in. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess so, the bottom line is uh, everyone needs to get a wedge, an espadrille. A wedge and, and wedge. go to Ovara and check out some of their summer pieces mm-hmm. if you're feeling stuck in your in your wardrobe it's choices. It's up there with a straw bag for me. Yes. Is to have a more than one, if you want, summer wedge. I completely agree. Mm-hmm. Um, and then after that, Aubrey and I ended up going out on the town, which was fun. And then I stayed overnight at Claire and Connor's again, shocker. Mm -hmm. And then Alyssa came and picked me up this morning in, in the bow mobile (laughs) to pick up (laughs) Miss Bose. I'm kidding. She, she, that's what she had the window down. And and then we went and got smoothie bowls and then we came home and we went up to our lake house today, which Mm -hmm. is another reason why I wanted to have you on because we are getting so close to the move in. It's, Why don't you talk about that? Yeah, I am busting with excitement. Busting to use Elizabeth's term, yes. I am beyond excited. So it's thrilling. The movers are moving the furniture in on Wednesday. This Wednesday, everyone. I can't even believe it. In forty-eight hours from I when know. you're listening to the podcast. Yeah, that's correct. Yes, it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> and sound the alarms. <laughs> right, and I will say we checked on it today and yes. you had not seen it in a while like and two weeks I want to say right which a lot has changed because it moves so fast so Monday and Tuesday the carpet will get finished tomorrow yep and we have a very detailed schedule and it's just a beehive of workers and people and how it, many people are in the house at one time there was one day last week there were 30 people it's crazy yeah it's crazy do they run into each other I believe so <laughs> I, I I think so and then sometimes when I pop in like I was there on Friday with Elizabeth there's no I just wave I don't interrupt anybody no there's like actually no time for no uh, for any of that we had an appointment where we were walking through and placing certain things and that was scheduled but other than that they are not to be interrupted no and then yesterday we we keep having cleaning company a cleaning company come in um Nick who's fantastic he's he's in charge of the project he has a cleaning crew come in and you could really tell today so all the paper was up off the living room and the game room it was clean mom like it was clean really clean and then when you walked in i i mean i love this it was a booty station that doesn't sound appropriate a booty station is that what they call it in construction no i don't know it was oh oh i thought that's what they called it little booties for your feet yeah like the covers that you put on so you don't track in anything laminated it was so organized it was so funny and we walked in and we put it on and i appreciate that because no People one's tracking don't in. Think about right. that. Like we we just had the floors clean. So it's getting I mean, we are getting there and everything was out of the kitchen except for the island. They had piled stuff on and I, it's getting really close. So I think that Give t- us a schedule for the week. Oh, oh my God. I love <laughs> nothing more. I wish I had brought it completely. I know. Okay, so tomorrow the carpet will get finished installed. And then the painters are finishing some things on the first floor. And then tomorrow, they will continue putting hardware on. Okay. So you could see in some of the, the, like all the door handles aren't on yet, but it's all ordered. It's all there. And they're just moving themselves through it. Okay. Tuesday, the I'm having the carpet sealed, uh-huh. fiber seal, which if you get new carpet, I recommend, I've done this for years, or new furniture, get it sealed with some sort of a company. Hopefully there's nothing wrong with doing this, but I've done it for years. And then <laughs> I don't think there is. I mean, there's probably chemicals, but mm, if there's paint or there's chemicals in paint, there's, there's chemicals in the You're so right. garage flooring ceiling that we're doing. Mm-hmm. There's chemicals in everything. Well, it, for me, sealing the furniture and the carpet, then I have like a maintenance program. So if somebody tracks in something, I call them and it apparently comes up easier, which, and they give you stuff. So that is happening on Tuesday at one o'clock. The windows are being washed on oh, Tuesday. Slay. We're going to have another cleaner in on Tuesday. Yep. Before the movers come on Wednesday. Uh, the blinds are also being installed in the windows on Tuesday. After they're being cleaned? No, you're, they're being cleaned from the outside. They're cleaned inside and outside okay. first. And mm-hmm. then the blinds. And then the blinds. Yeah, of course up. that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Wow, that is a quick turnaround. Isn't it? Yeah. And then let's see. Wednesday the movers come they are scheduled Wednesday Thursday Friday I can't imagine that it's not I don't understand why they can't just do it all in one day 
I think it takes a while to set up the beds and everything. So I think they just have the time and we have a storage unit. So I'm hoping that that's really just Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, no, I, I didn't mean that in a, in a bad way. I just like, we don't have that much furniture. No, and in my mind, I mean, I want them running and that's not realistic. Of like, course. Let's go. Of, whoa, our power just went out. Whoa, it just came back. Oh on. my gosh, that's so crazy. That's bizarre too because it's like a perfect day out there's nothing wrong i think there might be a storm a brewing wait seriously mm-hmm. i could like go for a storm couldn't you yeah i cozy i have i would love to be cozy with you guys mm-hmm. love you <laughs> <laughs> just want to let you know i hadn't said that in a little cuddle. bit cuddle cuddle time um i think we're, we're still, still rolling funny. though hello oh, i don't even have my headphones on it I, no it didn't affect it. it's just because the um, computer was but plugged in. did you in. see us look around? It was scary. Scary times. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Wednesday, Thursday, you're planning on the movers coming oh, in. Oh, okay, then, I mean, since we're going through my schedule. They're just I'll chucking just couches you. into the yeah, house. Like, yeah, like, let's go, go, go. Yeah. Uh, also, power washers are coming. There's a, still a dumpster in our driveway. They're going to take the dumpster away, and they're going to power wash everything, and then they are probably bringing back a small dumpster for last-minute things that Interesting. need to get hurled out of right. the house right right mm-hmm. right right right. we had the garage floor was redone yeah because it got screwed up when they had to tear it down the garage understand of course of right. course that makes sense um and i think that forced them to clean out some of the stuff that was in the garage as well you know with a job site there's a lot of things that oh accumulate. yes oh you're saying that with them that because maybe like a placing right. station mm-hmm. right that makes sense um what else is happening i mean that I, is a massive amount of stuff here's the big thing i we went to the storage unit today we did and i have most of the bedding at our house right now and i've washed most of it that is not an easy job no 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 i don't not a small undertaking ironing. i mean I yeah probably, you do like ironing i probably i do like to ironing iron. queen so i'm gonna iron the duvets i just feel like i like that better than taking it to the dry cleaner so that's underway my mm-hmm. goal is the next day or two i don't I'm not sure when I'm doing this. Maybe at night. I'm going to get that all done. Like I have taken every pillow sham apart. I'm washing everything. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's just been sitting in the garbage bag. So it, yeah. And then we do have new bedding in some of the rooms. Yes, we do. So I need to wash that. I'm going to get the duvets in and it takes up a ton of space. So I've ordered huge, um, contractor hefty bags i like this idea uh, hopefully this is interesting to people i don't know huge we're con- doing it anyway <laughs> this is what we got to going on so <laughs> yes huge contractor bags and then i will put everything for each room organized i will link those contractor bags because i where'd you get them from they're just he- like a hefty bag but contractor size so they're huge just amazon yeah, i know but like you know i said this to elizabeth and you i really wish i had like huge wicker basket yeah you said that to me the other and day. i could tie like a big bow around it and place it on each bed You're so we funny. are not doing that we, it's just not in the time schedule no. and right really now. a duvet a big comforter and all of the pillows I mean, it takes up a ton of room there's bedding all down in the basement bedding is huge huge the pillows the shams everything yes it is a it is a lot of space um but i'm getting really excited about it i love a good organizational house project built for this this is like your I, it's game time super bowl game yes. time it's, it's, it's no it's not funny anymore guys it's, it's game time game time because july 4th is rapidly approaching right. Now, one thing that I did not do yes. is uh, the movers came and they moved out all of the furniture, everything in the garage. I did not have them take everything out of the kitchen because I, it was just too monumental at the time. It, that was monumental. Right. So before the movers come on Wednesday, again, I, I guess in between ironing and whatever, I am going to go out and I'm going to take everything out of our pantry. Yes. I actually can't wait. <laughs> I, I am dying. I cannot. No, wait. I and and I know you actually can't wait. No, I can't. It's so like, it's like Christmas morning. I'm going to take it all out. I'm cleaning all the shelves. Then I'm it's going like Monica to, from Friends. Oh, <laughs> she shows I mean, up with I, her broom and I, her. I can't yeah, wait. And yeah. no one will do it with the attention to detail and love that I will. Well, obviously, because and it'll and I've cleaned out. I did clean out before we started all of this, but I will just put it back. It's going to be great. It's going to be fresh. And I honestly still think it was smart that you didn't move all of that out of the kitchen because that's so many dishes and like the pantry. It, things would have become broken. In. So what I think I'll do is I'll take like our dinner plates and everything and I'll just run them through the dishwasher as I'm hand cleaning. Of, of course. 
Yes. Everything in the Somebody pantry. check in on Anne on Tuesday. She's going to be <laughs> skipping and singing. I know. So I can't, funny. I cannot wait. And I might do it Tuesday night. So because oh. I feel like it's still going to be a beehive of people. Yeah. And then after hours. After hours clean. So that on Wednesday morning, when the movers arrive, the kitchen is also completely fresh. Wow. This is a huge week. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know either. You want to help? I know I will help on Wednesday. Um, I'm going to come with you to mm-hmm. assist because the designer and her team will also be there mm-hmm. running yes. into each other. And There's they'll be, be so at the front people. door directing people, which yeah. will be good. And I mean, then, I don't know how I would have been, how I would be of value on Wednesday unless there's oh like my gosh, you, moving that I, well, I'm it's not It's also gonna, a good, um, I don't know. Maybe I could get people learn, like lunch learn. and snacks and oh. water and coffee and I'll, yeah, I'll be the runner for that. I'll be, I'll be craft services. That sounds great. There's going to be so many people there on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. But it's going to be okay. So I hadn't seen the wall coverings until today. I'd seen pictures, but um, so charming. I'm obsessed with. I mean, you. This was such a stupid thing that I said, but obviously I saw all the samples. Mm-hmm. But it's so much better. <laughs> like you said person. that. I I really you love able my to tell wall coverings. How amazing they would yes. be from the little tiny. Samples. Then that was my only point. <laughs> it's a good point. Yeah, I could tell. I mean, I could picture. I could put the repeat in my I head. really love the wall coverings. Um, each wall has a different, each room has one wall with a different wall covering on it. Yes. Did I explain that? Yeah, no, that's perfect. And the bathrooms have the, what is that called? Like hand, the, the shower head. I hadn't been there since that was installed. The shower? The, sh- the shower stall? Um, the, no, the, um, how you turn on a shower what is that the faucet the faucets yeah the shower head yeah shower head yeah, and the yeah, faucets and everything right. i hadn't seen that being installed right which just, just had got, like the mm-hmm. opening for it but they actually put that in so the only thing that will not be there we're planning on staying up there next weekend the only thing that won't be there are the shower doors yes because those always i kind of feel sorry for the we're doing glass shower doors they have to come at the end after the tile is in and the hard surfaces and everything, and they measure. And then that takes, I mean, he said it would be like three weeks. So those will be in around July 4th. But we have our primary bathroom. We no, have, they won't be in around July 4th. No, they will. The doors? The doors. So that's not that bad. Wait, that's, so I thought be, that they weren't coming in until like in, no, the end of so July. they won't be here this weekend, but they'll be like oh, the next Oh my gosh, so, that's like, nothing. okay, I didn't, re- that's like no big deal at all. That's just one. We already have two working bathrooms with doors. Three. No one's showering in the family. Right. So <laughs> we have so three, we'll have yeah. ours and then the one that has been there. And then one of the bathrooms, I put a tub in with a shower. Curtain. Oh my gosh, we're totally fine. Right. I, d- I didn't realize they were coming this soon. No. So that's really That's good. amazing. And then the shutters will come. Those are a little delayed. I think they're supposed to be this week, but maybe it might be a little bit longer. Yeah. And the landscaper. This could be boring to people. I'm not I really don't, sure. I don't but think I, it is. We I try to bring it. every dimension to, you know, <laughs> not just us. Terry has his top 10 and I give you my list of how I can't wait to clean. But it's, it, well, first of all, that's <laughs> very important. That's just as important, number one. And number yeah, two, yeah. a lot of people do enjoy the home decor and the progression of it. This has been a, mm-hmm. a project since December. So. And I think we told everyone we took out baseboard heating. So that was, that was huge. Yes. So we had to repair the places where there was baseboard heating. I'm actually heating. really happy to be rid of that baseboard heating. Me me too that's what caused that's why that's what started the whole well thing. right that's what was the yes. impetus is that the right word yeah of the damage that's a very good word and thank you the, um the other thing since we're just going through the timeline is i use california closets oh yeah and they they take a very long what's up time. with that guys i'm not really sure and so they ordered them and she said it takes about a month which would put us to the end of june that they are actually made and then she said the installation date is in September. People that won't do. And then she said they always get cancellations. So what I think I'm going to do is bring, we have a couple of racks, extra That's actually racks. not that big of a deal though, it's because not. like we have the, the closet is done. It's, it's just not. the actual right. organization of it. And that's, and we were fine. at Home Depot today and they had navy blue. If anyone wants crates for a dorm room or something, they had really, we were at Lowe's. Oh, Lowe's. So sorry. I always say Home Depot. No, you're good. I, like Home Depot is what I use for any type just of Just a general statement. Yeah. Where you're getting house, you know, Right. Like we concerned. were at Target. We were at Home yeah, Depot. No. It was Lowe's. But they have navy blue crates. Really yes, cute. Very so cute. The other thing that we have ready to go 
it are two shelves. I had the contractor go get them when he was at, he was actually at Ace. Oh, I forget about Ace. Ace There's always you know Ace. What? I really love Ace. Ace I do too. Wait, I completely forget about Ace. There's Ace, Lowe's, and Home Depot. Mm-hmm. Anything and, else? Um, I mean, probably. Not probably, but not around us. Ace is great because it's like the neighborhood kind of. Oh, is that what it's like? The, the I can't remember their tagline, but I feel like it's. Ace is the like, place for yeah. the. For something, for, for something anything you need. Yeah, <laughs> yes. But you're right. It's a little bit more. It's smaller, right? right. It's like right near you us. run in, get it. But there's an ace near our lake house. And he did go in there and he bought two shelves. My designer suggested doing this ahead of time. And she, he's going to put those together so that as the movers come. So I just bought navy crates. We don't have a lot of stuff. Is this for the garage? For the garage. Okay. I was like, where and are we? We don't have a lot of stuff, but you still, we used to have cabinets that are gone. Yes. So I, I'll have to see. That's a, you know, the garage is not my favorite organizational place. No. So we did also. We also don't have like, it's just like bikes. Like it's not, since this is not our main house, it's right. just like the extra random but we do garage have stuff. And, well, yes. So we got some hooks to, I'll have Oh, we did get hooks that. today at Lowe's. We did get hooks and some more cleaning supplies just to have on hand. Okay. Okay. Continuing. There's always the, the battery ran its course. So anyway, um, we, so Wednesday is the big day. And then literally Friday starts July 4th weekend. Well, we had a big discussion about this because because it falls on Tuesday. It is the weekend. I don't know before. what everyone's plans are. Like, wh- what days do people have off? I don't know. What's the schedule? I don't know. I'm going to put up a, a, I should put up a Q&A box on Bose and Company. Be like, when do you guys have days off? I just like when we're all collectively on the same schedule. And I feel like because July 4th lands on a Tuesday, chaos is ensuing. So do people have Monday and Tuesday off? I'm assuming not Wednesday. Are they taking the whole week off? Are we traveling? So Where are we questions. going? <laughs> so, many so many questions. I just know I'm ironing this week. Well, right. Cleaning. We know where Anne will be. <laughs> but I do think that th- starting Thursday, Friday, this is the July 4th weekend. Yes. So this this coming weekend is. It is. I, I just feel completely unprepared, but not really. In what way? No, you know what? I feel super prepared. I don't know why I said that. I, I have my bathing suit. Have, I have my outfit. You tried on bathing suits. You have really I think I just can't believe it came so quickly. That's what it is. But it always does. You know what? It always sneaks up so much faster than you think because at the start of the summer, like at Memorial Day, you're like, oh my gosh, July 4th is so far away. It's really not. No. And, I, and for us, I feel like summer's almost hasn't even really gotten started because we haven't been up at the lake house. So for us, this is really going to be like the commence of... The, right. the real part, the heart of summer. Yes, and I'm really appreciative that dad kind of helped get this whole crew organized. And the of whole course. goal was to get it done by and he June did it. 30th. Yes, he did it. Yes. Um, the the entire neighborhood did not believe us that it was going to be done no. by July. Which, you know, valid. But so anyway, July 4th plans. Um, Friday, we'll go up there and, and just start the weekend. We, we're going to the boat club on Friday. I don't know what we're doing Saturday and Sunday. We have the jet skis. Like, we haven't been on the jet skis all summer. It's so exciting. It's 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 just so, it's like we're going on vacation. Right. And then in the new house, um, Monday, maybe we'll have some people up, as I was saying, but I'm not quite sure. Because I feel like everyone's going to have Monday off. So Mm -hmm. I almost feel like Monday could be a bit bit of a, more of a buzz. Because Tuesday, we are usually on the beach the whole day. I've talked about this before because we had our podcast last year. But Tuesday is super fun because Mm -hmm. there's games, there's a volleyball tournament, there's a parade in the morning, there's a parade in the afternoon. We have a lot of parades. A lot of parade, a lot of parading. Um, I I was also thinking I really tried hard and they were sold out. All I can think about right now is the house. Of course. I wanted Pottery Barn had some really cute bunting, the half circle bunting. Oh. And I wanted, I have like banners why don't and, you amazon what about amazon they, they weren't I, i'll look they weren't as cute but just they to have something right i have pennants yeah but it's a lot of work to go out and hang those on the fence and i think that my i might from ironing and whatever i we, just you might not make it to friday honestly f- by by friday <laughs> like we might not you might be have to be resting because that's a huge week that you have to then roll into right. a flag holiday like that and not just any flag holiday it. the flag holiday I'm doing it no i know you're gonna do it no one's shocked by that you're gonna do it we also need to figure out the podcast for next week because on monday it's oh, gonna be like right. we're, we might have to take a week off or well we can pre-record something just well just do it this week like you normally do Wednesday or Thursday yeah that's true yeah we're not going to take a week off I was lying we'll no. be here on Monday too and this is really dad's I think it's his favorite holiday yes 
And I think that I'm wondering when he'll start wearing red, white, and blue. Probably Friday. He has a Maybe section Thursday. of red, white, and blue clothes. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We have really great outfits for July 4th weekend. I feel like we've gathered things. I don't know why I said I was unprepared. I'm actually super prepared. No. Um, so, and I'm going to be sharing a lot of those things over on the gram ahead of time. And you have already. We Actually, in cute- my previous YouTube video, I showed an entire tablescape that you and I put together all from Target. So if you want to recreate that, if you are in a pinch or you just want to have a cute tablescape and make everybody else mad because you were so creative, <laughs> um, then go check that out, you know? <laughs> Maybe I'll do dinner or something. I'll fix dinner Saturday or Sunday. Yes, that could be fun. We'll see who's around. I'm so over. excited. I could, I'm just, I can't even believe that it's here. I love July 4th. Christmas is my it. number one holiday. And then is then number two is July 4th. Just because there's like so many people that we love to see and our neighbors. And I don't know. And it's even more special this year because I feel, well, you should feel so accomplished because of the house. I, I do. Yeah. I can't wait. So I think that's pretty much our show. I mean, what else do you want to talk about? What? I went through my list of to do and we loved every <laughs> single bit of it. So um, I hope everyone has a good work week leading into July 4th. We're thinking yes. of you. I'm going to share everything that we touched upon, just the random bits over on the Bozen Company Instagram. So be sure to check that out. Um, can I add one other thing? Of course. A number of people have DM'd me about paint colors. Okay. And I still, I want them to know that I do not, I responded to people, but I was looking today. Did you see me? I was looking on the island. We have a whole paint schedule book. Oh my gosh, I did not. And I don't, the the white that I use, which I've said before, is distant gray. Yes, you've gotten it's the question white, a lot. white, but it's called distant gray. I think that was a bad idea in the naming because there's nothing, it does not, there's no hint of gray no, in my it's a mind. confusing. It's confusing. It's Benjamin Moore distant gray. But then there's a blue paint if you have seen Emily's YouTube. Yes, the, and, and, yep. I don't know why I'm bringing it up now, but I need to find that blue paint color. Well, you will share the blue paint for sure. Because they just have a couple accent walls and I really like the blue. And I will do a full, totally love that. Thanks, and and, thanks. and I'm, we're on the edge of our seat until you can figure about. that out. No, yes. And then that just led me to um, think that I will do a full tour probably in my July 4th vlog of the house. Oh, that's being a good done. idea. So the visuals, will, and also the vlog that I'm posting, I think today. So Sunday, I don't even know what the date is. June, where am I? No, I'm kidding. Um, I showed an it's update from this. The 25th. So the vlog that goes up on the 25th, because there's one going up today shows the progression so far because we went today so check that out and then I will show the finished product for the July 4th vlog that's gonna be a really great video I because it's gonna be the first season I can't (laughs) wait I'm literally I'm so excited um yes so we will share more July 4th festivities on whatever we talk about on yeah for the episode on monday okay. but thank you all so much for listening to this week's episode of bows and company we really appreciate you coming back and tuning in wherever you are on your morning commute at work at on the treadmill i just i i love every scenario and we're here for it thank you so much Anne, for joining us thank and for, for sharing having me all of the house updates and we sure. can't wait to see the final product be sure to follow me on emily on bows bows and company instagram check out my youtube channel for weekly vlogs and shop my merchandise collection on my website in good company on emily emily on bows.com um, I think that's all I have to say. It's a lot. And let's do the outro together. Oh. I hope you all have a great week. And remember that everything, everything is, is better with, with a bow. bow. Bye-bye, Bye-bye now. now.